hello guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to work on another python code so in this video we are going to see how a dice simulator work so before we actually work on the code let's first see the code and let's see what it is actually so in this video we are going to work on this code and if i run this it will work something like this so first it will prompt for how many dice you want to roll so I can uh, put any number so let's say if I do 1 for now then it is going to give me a random number between 1 to 6 which is an actual uh, dice functionality right so if I type 1 again it is going to give me a something different number so if I do 2 then it is going to roll it twice and you can see that we have 4 and then 1 similarly if I do 5 then I will see 5 different dice rolls so this is what we are going to build in this video now before we actually work on this code if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do now let's see what we have to do to make this code working so I'll just remove everything from here and I'll explain side by side while writing the code so uh, as you know we have to generate a random number between 1 to 6 and that is a common dice functionality so for that we have a random library with python so first we have to import that now uh, we have to roll the dice n number of times n is going to be the input which user will provide and that is what and that is how many rolls we have to do so just uh, just to reduce the line of code we have to create function so that we don't have to write it over and over again and we ha we can call that function n number of times so that's why i'll create a function and i'll name this dice roll and we have to provide a number which is going to be the n number which is actually how many roll how many dice rolls we want now let's first generate a random number so for this we don't have to do much we just have to use random dot rent int method and here we will provide the numbers between uh, numbers range right so here I'll just do 1 comma 6 which means I want a random number between 1 to 6 and this includes 1 and 6 as well now I'll just store it in a variable now let's print this to see if it is working fine or not all right now let's call this function with value one all right let's run this okay let's try this okay so it generated a number one let's try again it generated three so as you can see it is generating a random number uh, whenever we are running this program now i want n number of roles depending on an input right so for that uh, i'll just use input so input and here i'll just ask how many dice rolls you want right and i'll store it into a variable so let's say input num and this is going to be here so this is being used here but actually we are not using num inside this function yet now to do that so let's say if i have to generate six rolls so i have to iterate over that so i'll just do for i in range and here i'll say num and these will be inside for loop now i'll just save this to run to run this program and to show you like what is going to happen so if i run this it is going to prompt me for how many dice rolls you want for now i'll just say two so it printed out one and four 
so this is working fine right but I want this to be printed in a single line so this is something which is literally related to formatting this code is working fine as of now but just to format this I'll use list to store the values and then I'll format this list to print everything in a single line there are several other ways which we can do but for me I thought that this is going to be the simple way for every beginner so this is what I came up with now instead of printing it here I'll just store it to the list all right now I need to print this in a formatted way so for that I'll just use asterisk list and if I so if so let's first talk about what asterisk here is going to do so if I print list what's going to happen let's first see that so if I do two here it printed out three comma three which is okay and if I run it again with the same mount you can see that uh, we see different value because this was a big coincidence so that is why I ran it again so we can see two comma one which is good right now you can see that we have brackets here and I don't want this here in the output so that is why we need to format this and that is where asterisk came into existence so if I print this now with the same value 2 you can see that we have 4 and 5 without the brackets now we need a comma here so for that I'll just use a separator and separator is going to be your comma and then space and that's it now if I run this you can see 3 comma 5 now if I run again if I do 3 then it is giving me 3 values now you can see that for each dice roll I have to rerun the code again right and let's say if I don't want that then I'll just use an infinite loop everything is going to be inside this infinite loop and I need a break condition so this break condition is going to be if input num and let's say lower so that we don't have to bother about case sensitivity exit so you can use any keyword to exit if this condition is true then we just need to break out of the infinite while loop right so let's try this so let's say if I do one then it printed out one but it again prompted me to provide a number again right so if I say two then yeah it's working it's working again it's working fine now if I do exit so uh, if I let's say change the formatting like this so this is in uppercase as well as in lowercase right so now if I just print this out it is going to exit so that is why we used lower because we don't know uh, how user is going to provide exit keyword so that is why we use this now this is the full fledged functionality that I initially showed in the start of this video and this is something which is going to be a brief introduction of what you can do uh, in terms of a project when it comes to dice simulator so there are a lot of things which we can do to enhance this there there could be a GUI application where you can click over a button and then it will uh, it will provide a random number so that can be achieved as well so there are several application towards this code or this part of code but this is the introduction so um, this is it for this video if you have any questions do let me know on the comment section of this video and if you want any specific video on any specific content then please let me know I'll try to create a video a separate vid video for that so this is it I hope that we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye